I'm Neil Thompson. This is Pen and Pencil Club. My own, and because I was the one who decided to start it and I was my own editor, um, I felt very free to take risks and I felt very free to just write whatever I wanted and, and I wrote some things that I loved and some things that now make me cringe. And was, um, there was a particular post that I wrote, I feel like it was maybe two or three months after I started the blog, and I think it was a post about, about trying to make sourdough bread. A friend of mine had given me a sourdough starter at that point. And I wrote this post and it kind of, by the time I finished it, it kind of felt like this little self-contained essay almost, or it really felt like a, like a whole story. After I wrote it, I read it and I thought, gosh, this is doing something different from the other things that I've written and I really like what this is and I don't really understand what it's doing but I like it and I'm going to try to do it again and so I just kept writing and, and I think for me that's it's the beauty of the internet is that um, you know it, it's it's free and as long as you aren't afraid of making some mistakes you just put yourself out there and take some risks and you figure out what feels right when I was first starting to blog I, I used to kind of you know write every day or every other day and I found that um, that the writing that I liked doing, the pieces that, that I liked and that felt good to me were taking me longer than that. So I eventually sort of cut it back to maybe twice a week and now I only do it once a week. And that's, but yeah, I, I sit down on Monday morning and I usually have a recipe that I've made sometime in the previous week or over the weekend. And I pretty much just spend all day Monday sitting on the couch with my hair in, in a complete mess, um, just diving into it. And it's really fun. You know, somebody could spend their whole lives writing about food and never run out of things to say. I'd be glad to sell you a copy. So who should I sign this to? This one is, you have to write about something you're interested in. I feel like that, that to me, is, is the greatest piece of advice about writing, is that you have to write what moves you, or else it's just going to sit there lifelessly. I think that, um, I think that there's something in all of us that loves, um, that loves a good story, and that food is, is an amazing place to find stories. And so um, food writing, I think, is, is an incredibly broad genre, and it doesn't just have to be about restaurant criticism or, um, or writing a recipe or talking about how to bone a chicken. I think that we have to remember that there are stories there and that they're sometimes personal stories and so that a lot of it is um, pushing through what I thought was, um, was a lack of inspiration or pushing through what I thought was boredom. And if I can make myself sit down long enough and get past that, um, that I'll find that, there, that I have something there to say. Right. And on those days, I may not get started until 2 in the afternoon, uh, which then means I may not be finished till 11 o'clock at night, um, because I know for me this procrastination is, is a real part of it and a part of my brainstorming what's going to happen. But I also know that I have to not give up just because I'm procrastinating or because I'm afraid or I don't know what to say.